Hi there. Today I wanted to look at a, a fairly typical um, Medoc wine from, from Bordeaux. This is um, Chateau Magnol. Chateau Magnol is um, owned by Barton and Gustier, the um, historical negotiant firm there. Um, this is the 2016 vintage. Um, and as I said, they're in the Medoc, but the O Medoc. Um, Chateau Magnol is located in a place called Blancfort, which is one of the first... Um, it's, in fact, it's one of the first chateaus you'll pass if you come from Bordeaux or from the airport in Bordeaux and are heading to the Medoc. Um, Blancfort itself is sort of slowly being subsumed into um, into industrial complexes there, the, the, the car depots and that sort of thing around around there. Um, the chateau itself is about 30 hectares, so it's a fair size. Um, it was, um, uh, well, start with Barton and Gustier, they were formed in 1725, um, so have a long history. Um, the chateau was, here was built in 1842, um, at that stage it was known as Chateau du Dehez. Um, in 1978 Barton and Gustier bought that chateau and some other um, surrounding vineyards which they um, incorporated and named Chateau Magnol. So um, the wine is uh, classified as a Cru Bourgeois. Um, which is a classification which is renewed fairly regularly, so it, it, it has to keep itself up to spec. It's not like the Cru Classe that maintain their classification on the Medoc um, forever. Um, the vineyards are slightly weighted towards Merlot. Um, I think the, um, the cepage here is 48% is Merlot, and then there's 40% of Cabernet Sauvignon, and another the balance of 12% is um, Cabernet Franc. They also have a little bit of Petit Verdot planted in the vineyard, but it didn't make the cut in 2016. So let's have a look at the wine, shall we? Um, the wine has a really pretty good depth um, of a ruby red colour. There's no real purple left at the rim there. Um, I, I pretty much can't see through it there, so you know, decent depth of colour. The aromas, the aromas are very typically uh, Medoc. They're sort of cedary notes keeping in lovely vibrant berry fruit. So, so sort of cedar over the top, um, vanilla hints, and then behind that sort of slightly leafy cassis red currant fruit coming there, but all slightly restrained. Let's taste it. It's a very structured wine. Um, drying tannins, not astringent. The fruit is still coming out there, but but there, there are cedary notes. There's graphite. There's um, people talk about notes of lead pencil, that sort of cedar and graphite combination, and and that's that's there a plenty. There's a dustiness. This is a wine that will have had quite long maceration, um, and will have taken. Um, tannins out of the pips of the, of, of the grapes as, as well as spending time in, in oak barrels probably at least a year in barrique probably a fair proportion of that being new. Um, the wine is, is lovely and smooth the tannins are very fine very grainy um, very typically Bordeaux. The, the alcohol seems in balance um, Trying to see what it says here, thirteen percent. That would make sense. Um, so not particularly high for for the Medoc, um, and and that is it's a balanced wine. It's got a long, delicate finish. The fruit perhaps could take a little bit of time to open up. There are plummy notes behind it, but predominantly it's that red currant with a little bit of cassis behind it. Um, maybe slight chocolatey notes but only just um, the flavors are long it's relatively lean it's a mid-weight wine that perhaps could do with another four or five years to really open itself up so that is um, Chateau Magnol thank you for watching everybody bye now